Welcome to a playoff edition of Blitz 8 and for nine weeks a North has been the don't met the mortgage on it. Most unpredictable conference in the state. Well, now that we're into the semifinals, how would things play out? We'll show you right now, starting with number four Wyndham taking on number one Edward Little. Wyndham took a seven nothing lead into the third quarter, but Wyndham dry and Wyndham driving in the second half, fourth and short. Nathan Watson converts later on the drive. Stuart Salam goes in for the score. Wyndham's up 14 nothing looking for the upset, but EL comes right back. Grant Hartley to the air. Wyndham is back, but he didn't need it. Throws the cannon to Xavier Weaver. 66 yard score. They missed the conversion though, so they're up four, or down 14 six. Early in the fourth, EL still down 14 six. Hartley scrambling, but Tanner Bernier stops him. They're short on fourth down. Wyndham gets it back. Later in the fourth, EL gets it back again in the red zone. This time, Hartley rumbling through. Get the touchdown, but missed the two point try, so it's 14 12. EL would get the ball back five to play. Wyndham needing a play on defense, and they get it. Hunter Coffin seals it with the interception. Everybody on the sideline saying, go down, go down, go down, but he's saying, no, go for six, go for six, go for six. An amazing return for the touchdown. Wyndham. Wins at 21-12 on the road as they're headed to the regional championship. Who would they play? Number two, Lewiston hosting number six, Portland in the other semifinal. The first half full of P and P's, penalties and punts, but in the final minutes, a big play made by another P. Vincent Pasquale, the pick, and Portland is in business over midfield. 30 seconds left in the half. Teron Moss creates, and he's going to come back the other way, buying time to find Pasquale, who finishes off what he did defensively, 7-0 Bulldogs. Third quarter, Lewiston pinned deep in its own end, and Ben Stasium making an unbelievable play. Check it out, one-handed sprawling, snags it out of the air. Two plays later, Moss takes it in for the score, 13-0 Portland. Early in the fourth, here comes Lewiston, Garrett Poussard, what a year he had. Nine-yard touchdown run, it's 13-7, but Portland responds, Moss, Keeping it himself, makes a cut and using the whole field, 24-yard run. Portland's season really turned around when Moss became the quarterback. 27-13 Portland, they'll travel to Wyndham next weekend for the third year in a row, those two teams meeting up. All right, Southern A champion or semifinals. Number five, Sanford coming off an upset of South Portland, taking on Scarborough. Zoltan Pany shown his mobility, throwing on the run, airs it out, Cody Dudley inside the Sanford five. From there, the safe bet, keep it yourself, Pany. Goes in for the score, 7-0, Scarborough on top. Sanford trying to get into the red, fly, a red storm no-fly zone, but Dudley comes up with the pick, and all of a sudden Scarborough's in business again. Red Storm have a weapon in number two, sophomore Jarrett Flaker, one of the fastest guys in New England, goes one way, and then look at that cut back, and he is gone. No one's going to catch him. 14-0, Scarborough on top. Still in the first. Panny doing it again, moving. This time he's in a tuck it under his arm and he's going to pick up big yardage deep into the Sanford red zone. Run, pass, he was doing whatever he wanted tonight. Then Pandy caps the drive with a TD pass to Connor Kelly. 53-15 Scarborough. Red Storm host Bonnie Eagle and Thornton winner next weekend. Oh, in Class B, Marshwood and Kenny Bunk seemed to separate themselves during the regular season in B South, but Falmouth sat lurking in the number three seed flying under the radar. Ben Elmuth and Kenny Bunk tonight. Falmouth trying to avenge a regular season loss. Under a minute left in the first half. Trip Bush, the pump fake. Zach Sullivan, nice catch in the end zone. Falmouth though, 19-14 lead at the break. In the third, Kenny Bunk facing fourth and four from the 24. Bush rolls out and Derek Smith, a nice catch in the end zone. Kenny Bunk takes the lead 20-19. But on the first play following the kickoff, Garrett Obi takes the handoff and then breaks a tackle and shows that breakaway speed. 64-yard touchdown for Obi. 25-20 Falmouth on top. In the fourth quarter, Kenny Bunk driving, trying to take the lead back, but Obi comes up in the interception. Coach, give him a game ball. Then goes all the way across the field to take it back to the score. 32-20 Falmouth with a huge win. One of the biggest in program history. They're moving into the regional final. Top seeded and unbeaten Marshwood hosting Greeley. Opening Hawks possession, a bad snap, and Nolan Anderson comes in and makes a play, scooping it up, goes for the score, 7-0 Rangers. But Marshwood answers, ooh, the double handoff. Kyle Glidden, 25-yard touchdown run, extra point was no good, Marshwood still down, 7-6. Next possession, the give to Joe Turan, who's gonna get to the outside, no one's catching Joe Turan, 65-yard touchdown. Marshwood up 14-7 as the Hawks doing it on the ground tonight. Then after a turnover, 
Marshwood again, the double handoff, and Turan going 38 yards for the touchdown. 45-19, Marshwood the win. The host found within the B South Regional Championship next Saturday, 12:30. Northern B, Morris hosting upset-minded Brunswick. Dragons trying to rally late. Nate Gerard and connects with Aiden Glover for the big game. That sets up Owen Richardson for the touchdown. Brunswick is down 17 to six. They force a punt, and then after a long punt return, Dalton Dickey plows into the end zone. Brunswick, they're still alive, down 17 to 12. They get the ball back, but Lawrence's defense stands tall, and they hold on 17-12, Lawrence advancing. Top seeded Skowhegan hosting Brewer in a B North Regional Semifinal. The Cowley brothers hook up for an early Brewer touchdown. Bryant Cowley to the edge, takes it down inside the five. Then Andrew Kiley plows in for the score of the Brewer Witch Project up 7 to nothing. Skowhegan's defense kept them in the game. Sean Savage with a pick, and they would rally for the win 18-13. Skowhegan hosting Lawrence in the regional final next weekend. See South Semis, black and blue division here playing some defense, aren't they? Number three, Freiburg at number two, Cape. 7 0 Capers at the half. Jared Chassari breaks free for Freiburg. Looks like he's going to tie it up, but no, you can take it off the board. A penalty. It remains 7 0. Capers in the early fourth. Andrew Hartel finding his man, Jacob Brideson. 31 yards. Perfect pass as he gets past the defense. 14 0 Capers. Capers with some penalties let Freiburg go deep into their own territory, but the defense stepped up. Oscar Saunders meet Lewis Dawkus face to face. That forces the incompletion. Then Saunders looking long, and Bright's in another big play. The interception keeps his feet in bounds, but Freiburg would force a punt. And this is where Luke Houle makes a play as a punter. Gets off about a 70 yarder, totally flips the field, win at his back. Then the Raiders, in desperation mode, have to start chucking, and Brideson have a game with another interception to seal it. 14 to nothing, Cape Elizabeth. Cape Elizabeth will host the regional final as the two seed next weekend. Who will they face? Well, number one, Levitt, number four, Gardner. Tigers starting strong. Second play from scrimmage, Colin Foy finds a hole, and somehow he's going to get down inside the 20, 44 yard run. He wouldn't score here, but he'd score a big one later. Story of this one, though, was Gardner's defense. Roy Appleby on the pressure. Tim Albert, and then later, Levitt not much on the ground either. Austin Weymouth, Gardner comes in to wrap up Bryce Hudson. No room up the middle, they try the jet sweep. Garrett Mayhew is there for the stop, and Levitt falls. The number one seed goes down on a late touchdown, seven to six Gardner and Cape in the next round. Southern D, top seeded on a beaten Wells hosting Mountain Valley. Wells facing a fourth down on its first drive. Michael Wrigley finds Ethan Marsh for the first down. Warriors moving the chains. They're unbeaten for a reason. Two plays later, who else but Nolan Potter from three yards out. Wells goes up eight to nothing. Mountain Valley wouldn't go quietly though. Jacob Blanchard, he's the man. Goes right up the middle for the touchdown. 21 yard run. Mountain Valley down eight to six. The second quarter of the Falcons with the ball, but the ball comes loose. Peyton McKay recovers in Mountain Valley territory, and Wells takes advantage. Potter with his second touchdown of the game. Wells up 16-6. Late in the half, Potter with a third touchdown, 39-6. Wells, the host Madison next weekend. Thanks for watching Blitz 8. All the highlights on WMTW.com as well.